It is Foot Centurions Day today. We've got the full team leaked. We've got the icon team leaked as well. That's calling for this promo. So we'll go and look at that. Talk about prep, of course. A couple interesting things to go look at in terms of the leaks and news today. If you guys want to buy coins, you can go to mmoxp.com. The link is in the description. Use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. And the FIFA community right now, the sentiment around this game is just not good. Like, honestly, it's far worse than what we had last year for sure. Even the last couple years, you know, the negativity is always, you know, prevalent when it comes to a FIFA game, right? Don't get me wrong. The negativity is oftentimes over the top, but honestly, this year, especially it is just to me rightfully or, you know, justified because I don't know where this game is going, but we're going to get into that here in a sec. Content today, it sucked hairy ass. Marquee matchups came out today. We did actually get one reward in there where we got consumables in it. Chemistry styles are going to be in gold packs. Outside of that, literally nothing at all. We did see a little bit of a chemistry style drop today. So if you want to go out and buy some, that's a great investment. Honestly, it's a great investment. Yes, we could see a store pack coming out today because it's going to be a giant store pack day and fuck all else i'm sure so you could see that i just think we haven't seen it yet this year it's probably unlikely also with store packs uh right now jesus christ look at how many fucking store packs there 100k packs have been out for a while but what came out we got 50k packs as well and then also these 30,000 coin ones you also get an additional 75 plus rare player pack in this is a new pack that we almost never see be tradable so uh, once again you are going to see this year <laughs> wait hold on 1.5 percent isn't this hilarious? This game is just a fucking casino. I mean, $5 you spend for a 1.5% chance at a Trailblazers player. I mean, for fuck's sake. How much is $20? $20 gets you, holy, $20, six percent at a trailblazers player yes that's not the only player you can get a 90 plus player is 1.8 percent so basically any card that could be like ridiculous for you mo the majority of them will be 88 plus you're looking at a two percent chance okay a, a two percent chance of 20 dollars if you want to spend money on this game fine everyone has that choice but i'm just saying if you do it be aware how fucking slim your odds are when you're spending money on this game and don't get roped into the addiction please what i was gonna say though before i went off on a tangent was we're gonna see more tradable store packs here more supply will hit the game because rarely last year we'd see this many different tradable ones you'd always see a few of them right but this year we have 45k and 25k packs are just basically permanent staples of the store so i mean you count on the fact that more tradable supply will just hit this game on a regular basis especially on promo fridays because of you know the icons coming in let's go look at them right now actually centurion's team one the full team is leaked and i'm not gonna lie the team one does not look quite as good as what team two is gonna be we have a lot of the you know the leaks regarding both teams here and team one looks just good i wouldn't say it's great. Pop, Gioro, Rashford, Pedri, Lacazette, Furlamendi, Fakao, Tamori down here. And we got like Ryerson we hadn't seen yet who looks okay. Dortmund links are obviously pretty nice there. But um, yeah, you know, it's fine. And it's just kind of funny, you know, I mean, the, the FIFA community is just in such a state of like not knowing what they want. And I understand and sympathize with EA just a tad bit, okay? I don't want to say I do it much. Just a teeny bit. When people say, you know, look at the replies. Such a mid team, 313 likes. And the other top reply is too much for one month into the game. So, I mean, you literally have two conflicting replies here with a hundred likes plus basically so i do sympathize slightly with that however i think the team is only mid quote unquote because of the fact we got icons coming and here are the team one icons we got bobby charlton rude hullet jerzino kelly smith is that her first name i think it's kelly uh ronald kuman and gattuso so once again the majority of the icons we've seen are going to be into team two maybe we get a mini release with like one extra icon i'm not exactly sure but they all look good right i mean gattuso and kuman even look good and these four are going to be really really good so also we got a description added for Enzo Francescoli. So Francescoli was a hero that's been leaked. I think it's like the start of the game. He actually has a picture in game. If you go and search for him here, uh, Francescoli is in the game. He just has no card. You can't look at him. Obviously he's extinct. He's not out yet, but even in concepts, you can't look at a card. This doesn't exist. So here is the description if you want to read it. And then this is the card stats. Um, I don't know if this is confirmed. I know we had most of the hero stats confirmed already. Talking before the game came out, like a few weeks before we had all the hero stats already confirmed. So maybe these are the stats. And if so, it would be a pretty good card don't know what the skill moves and weak foot would look like but you know pretty high pace high shooting and high dribbling that's always going to be a recipe for a usable card at least so we can count on francis goalie coming out sometime this year like ledley king did last year we got a new card design added into the game here we got uh centurions evolutions getting their own card design we still do not know what these are going to look like there you know is it going to be a thing where you can boost promo cards and like the lower end promo cards we can actually get some stats up on to make them somewhat usable or is it going to be a thing where you basically can just select a player 
like we've been seeing with the parameters that they give us and they turn it into you know an evolutions car design basically that's what the nike promo was so that would be my guess if i had to put my money on it but it would be really cool if some of these lower end cards we actually could use in each promo because we can upgrade them right this is the second upgraded one this is the fully upgraded one so my guess is going to be a normal gold card to throw in there so i, I don't know marta also has been leaked i don't i never saw her in the team i, I don't know when she's going to be coming out but marta is leaked she's got five star skills probably not going to be the best card ever but she could be if they decide to up her pace a lot we got nemanja vidic and icon sbc so we got a third i think it's the third no i think it's the fourth icon sbc of the year so far stats are just predicted but uh we're gonna get vidic as well and you know all of this kind of sums up to one thing is what the fuck are we doing here what is the plan i don't know all these cards i mean these icons these players i mean they are so hard to pack that it's so difficult to actually get hyped up for any kind of special team like you're not gonna pack any of them literally none of them we got a mudrick sbc and odegaard sbc we can't get fodder at all to put anything into so how are we supposed to get hyped up about this stuff when it's like oh we get a vintage sbc mudrick sbc odegaard sbc these sbcs look good i would love to complete them if i could spend time on the game and actually earn my way up to get cards so we'll keep talking about that in one sec i don't want to get sidetracked before i talk about all the leaks here are the last of what i want to talk about here 87 founders holland is coming december 10th to play the game before november 1st to get an 87 rated holland card which you're not going to get for uh, uh almost two months and he'll probably be like terrible but um you know what you're gonna get a free holland i guess if you play the game by november 1st which i'm sure the majority of you are going to get but yeah it's like you want to get so hyped up for these teams like oh my god icons are coming we have more promo cards in every promo this year we got tons of sbcs how the hell are we supposed to get any of this stuff to complete sbcs like actually i don't uh, i don't know how i mean i do know how it's right here this is where they want you to go to try and open these untradeable packs right because they realized last year that they can make untradeable packs worth a shit ton of fifa points right so you're gonna get 40 rare gold players one above 85 here you're gonna get 10 attackers 10 midfielders 10 defenders all above 82 or higher right so they want you to have to open these to get your fodder so of course this is what they do and this is what i mean when i say that this year more than ever this game is so catered to the store this year it's unbelievable it's actually shocking they can't i mean we got evolutions that the majority of them are paid half of them are paid so not only do we have the store we have to pay for everything to get your fodder you have to actually pay for half the evolutions which was one of the biggest features coming into this game and i'd be fine paying for them if they made them like really really good but instead it's just most of them are okay i think he looks pretty good it's not even somebody who i like wanted to choose it's just somebody who's toward the top of the requirement curve i don't know I, what is blood waffling about the point is i can't see a direction of where this game is going other than just shit for the consumer just complete shit everything to the store and yes it's been that way a lot but especially this year it's it's somehow worse and you know they can make evolutions kind of a thing where okay we can get really good cards for free by doing this instead of needing to do sbc's a bunch right but um you know these cards are just definition of mid but sheriff says your defense is in trouble like this enkedia card i mean look at this guy he looks fine your, my defense is not in trouble no one's van dyke is in trouble it's hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby no one's defense is in trouble seeing this card and that wouldn't even be the end of the world either if there was any game mode to play that wasn't uber competitive, constant, ranked, matchmaking, must win games, every game like your life depends on it. If that wasn't the case, that wouldn't really that be that much of an issue. So yeah, I don't know what this game is going to look like for the next like few months. I, I don't know how people are going to want to play this game continuously if things stay the exact same as they are now. I have no idea why people would want to. So something's got to change is my point here. Anyway, on to the market. It's staying about the same right now. It's saw a little bit of a dip after marquee matchups because of just some sort of added supply, basically. But we're right back up for the most part. Neymar and Rashford are right where they were yesterday. I've mentioned a lot that if the pack weight is good on this promo, which I doubt, but if it is, we'll see a market drop this weekend. I don't know if it'll be huge or substantial, but a lot, especially on the gold cards, we'll see a market drop. If there's like no pack weight at all on any of these cards, you can't pack the icons. You can't pack the regular promo cards. Then I don't think the market's going to move too much. Honestly, it'll be a normal weekend league, in my opinion, where you'll see it peak on, you know, Friday night, Saturday morning, Sunday sell off Sunday and rise back up again Monday. And that's my best guess because the pack weight, I don't know what this, what this is going to be. The trailblazer this pack weight was so terrible and i can't tell you what this is gonna look like i just simply can't tell you like look at the supply i understand Ronaldo is a 1 million coin car but i genuinely don't think he would be at all if the supply wasn't this bad we are on one page effectively this card on a crash on a crass platform a cross-platform market i mean really uh, one page of ronaldo on a cross-platform market it's an 88 rated promo card with not great links um yeah i mean there you go there there's your answer to this pack weight right now it's fucking tragic what i would definitely do though is look at fodder this weekend in my opinion we're gonna get something this sunday no matter what a hero or icon pack again i can almost guarantee you or some sort of gamble sbc and fodder is starting to rise right now because of that this is what ea want ea want fodder to be high because then people would want to be more inclined to spend money on 
on packs because then they can at least say to themselves, hey, I'll get an 87 rated card and he'll be worth something. Even if I pack nothing, that's what they want, right? So what I would do is today, you know, anywhere between probably an hour to six hours after content, I buy some fodder, do a little club stock maybe. You could do it at pretty much all the ratings from 84 to 89, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 89s are up actually quite a bit. I maybe hold off on them. 84 is to 88, so I think you can buy. So what do you guys think about everything? Please let me know. Am I being far too cynical here? Or is EA just, to me, really out of touch this year a little bit? I understand they're probably making a shit ton of money right now. And, you know, they're probably afraid that the profits will be down because of the FIFA brand being gone. But you got to still care about your player base and not just work on people getting more addicted to your packs. But honestly, I don't think they give a fuck. I think they're just going to hire more psychologists to get us all tapped in, hardwired into opening packs and getting everybody addicted to gambling. So um, on that note, have a good rest of your day. I love you. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're soon. Push.